Hey everybody, my name is Ryan. You're watching Sailing Freestyle, and in today's episode, we gotta figure out where I can stick this on the boat. All right, so the last time I went out sailing, I kind of realized the idea I had for a way to store the anchor up on the deck of the boat was a pretty poor idea because we got ourselves into a situation where I was healing over pretty good. And unless that anchor is strapped down uh, super tight, um, that thing is just going to slide right off the edge. Um, and luckily, the, um, the netting that I installed uh, captured the uh, anchor. Uh, before it could fall off. Uh, not that it really would have mattered. I mean, it was attached to chain and rope. I could have got it back, but it would have made for a little bit of a headache. Anyways, I digress. But it made me realize the need for a proper uh, anchor storage system, such as the bow anchor roller. Uh, I got one of these in my other boat. Uh, a little bit different one, but roughly the same concept. Holds a bruise claw. Really good. The uh, one problem that we have is if I go to put this in the one spot that I can really get it, um, there is this curvature in the deck of McGregor's, so it will not rest flat so I can mount it. So the one concern I had was, A, does this hold its shape on the other side? Um, so if I grind it down, I'll end up with a hole in my boat. Um, or B, what is, if not, what is in the thickness of this? Is it just all fiberglass resin? Or is there some kind of a wood core that runs down there to make like a brace? Um, because if I did that and expose that, then I would have to reseal that somehow. And that could be more of a project than I want to get into. But, so I figured out the first half of that. To go underneath and look up, um, there is no bevel on the other side. However, we still don't know what's underneath what is in the thickness of that so a bunch of people on the facebook forums uh suggested i build up instead of grind down um the only problem with that is if i build up you can see it but that blocks the chain plate so you can't tack you can't connect the tack of the jib sail to the chain plate but then i could also drill into this but my experience with drilling stainless is a really big headache so i don't know i think because it's such a small here i got it a line drawn this is the only spot that needs to be taken away such a small area i think i'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and grind into it and see what happens so got myself an angle grinder here with a sanding disc on it um and i'm just going to start to strip it away and see what we find
All right, so I ended up having to cut a little bit like of a, a notch in there with the Dremel. Actually, I actually found the best tool to use is the like the paper sanding bits over the metal bits. Um, I had to burn through about six of them, but it got the job done. And that was so I can fit the pin of this shackle through the hole. Um, that's for the jib sheet. And that seems to fit there, so we can move forward to the next part here. All right, the other big pain in the butt about this project here is the only way to access that part of the boat um, underneath the deck is back through that wall. Um, and the only access that's back there right now is, I'm not sure if it was the previous owner or if McGregor themselves actually went about it this way, is they just went to town with a freaking hole saw and cut out this little puzzle piece thing here so I'm gonna try to widen that out with a jigsaw um, so if not myself maybe one of my kids can get up there and with a wrench so we can tighten some bolts down <laughs> project bow rollers all installed looks awesome in my opinion the other things we're going to do while we're up here is hey I got some um, turnbuckles for this area here because these lifelines aren't attaching to the stanchions um, the way I want them to so I think turnbuckles will work much better um, up here so this is just a temporary fix the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to replace the bow cleat with this nice stainless cleat um, that I had from another project, uh, the other boat. So the way, the reason I like this cleat much better is it's got a lot of gap space under um, here that allows you to take a, a loop in your like um, dock line and kind of thread it through and over, which is a lot more secure than just tying a, a cleat hitch. Um, the cleat that's on here currently has just got this tiny little spot and you can't really do that. So this is going to replace this. I also got a um, one of these um, chain pins here um, that we're gonna bolt through here, and that's to lock your anchor chain, keeping your anchor pulled and taut in that roller. And the last thing we're gonna do while we're up here is I might as well throw in the uh, fresh water fitting. Um, as soon as though we're doing a bunch of work up here, anyways, we will call that part of this project. So that's where we're at with this right here. So
All right, freestylers, there you have it. One new bow rail where, of course, I start to do this and it starts raining. Anyways, here she is on her new bow roller. It's working out great. Comes back here, the chain to the, the pin there. It keeps it all nice and snug as a bug. And then this is kind of what I was talking about before with this um, cleat. So you can um, put a line under here, loop it around. And there you go, that other cleat, you weren't allowed to do that. And we got our freshwater fill installed. And yeah, there it all is. Eventually, I think we're going to replace this um, hose hole um, and do away with the whole bag. The bag's working fine right now. Man, a downpour out of nowhere. So, yeah. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. We're going to wrap it up real quick. Um, make sure you leave me a like by clicking the thumbs up down there. Um, give me an extra like for coming out here in the rain to do this exit. And um, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Um, the liking, the commenting, and the sharing, that all helps the YouTube channel grow, guys. Um, and of course, check out Patreon if you want to um, contribute to the channel and support the channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you, as always, to all my current patrons. And um, here's a look at what's coming up on the next episode. Coming up on the next episode of Sailing Freestyle, we continue to put holes in the boat so that we can uh, finally get around to installing the bilge pumps, an ever important safety feature on anybody's sailboat. Tune in next time, guys. Hey guys, if you've been enjoying the Sailing Freestyle channel, please consider becoming a patron by checking out the Patreon page through the links below in the description. Something as little as $1 a month really goes a long way in supporting the channel. And to all my current patrons, thank you guys very, very much. You guys are all awesome.